Hello and welcome back to On Your Beauty. Today's video is going to be my June favourites. I have quite a few lip products this month. I've been playing around more with different lip combos. Um, since dyeing my hair of course, I've just been playing around with different colours. But I have a few base products and a few other bits and pieces that I would like to share with you. So, start with primers. The first is the Body Shop All-in-One and it's the Insta Blur. I have done a review on this and I initially was in two minds with it and I've gradually come to really really enjoy it and yeah I have used it quite a few times this month and another one is the number seven instant illusions and I was just sent this boots have been going through a phase of sending out products to people not entirely sure what's going on but I'm not going to complain um but this was one of the things I received and I actually really enjoy it I keep saying actually but I've been using it with um benefits what is it big easy now I had issues with this, it generally sunk into my pores and this seems to work quite well at filling that and smoothing everything down. Um, it doesn't do anything, you know, it doesn't mattify my skin or anything like that but it is quite nice during the week if I'm just wearing something like this, something quite light. This is just nice for evening up my skin tone and kind of keeping it a bit hydrated almost, it's quite nice. I would recommend checking it out. I will obviously play around with this a bit more and let you know how I get on. So, enjoying these two primers. Um, another base, it's unfortunately empty, it's the Genvera BB Cream and I cut it in half to get as much out as I possibly could. I think there's not really one more use left in this anymore but I have been absolutely loving this this month. It's so nice, it just evens everything out really nicely, it doesn't cling to any dry patches, it doesn't break me out. I did initially think it was but then I realised it was a different product. Um, so and it's got SPF 30 in it so I like to layer up my SPF with different products always good to get in there with a the base as well so this has been really really nice and I'm very much considering buying a full size I have a few other bits I want to use up and now I've got some things working better I'm going to use those up but I will be purchasing this in the future really like it, would recommend checking it out now I'll do the lip products actually next I've been really enjoying wearing coral lips. Now if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen, I think I've been wearing, I've worn both of these this month and it's just so nice with my hair. I can get away with wearing them much more. I couldn't really wear these colours often or you know I'd have to be very careful with the makeup I wore because it just didn't suit me and now that I have this colour hair I can wear these much easier for some reason. Um, this is from Jordana, it's the Twist and Shine and which is this one. And this is the Makeup Revolution in Rendezvous and the Jordana was in Candid Coral. So Candid Coral and Rendezvous, really like these and they're obviously really nice and so handy to chuck in your bag and quite moisturising on your lips. But yeah, I've been really enjoying wearing these colours. And I've discovered as well a bit of a love for this lipstick. It's the Sleek Matte Lip Shade in Exaggerate. It's one of the true colour lipsticks. And it's this lovely... Movi purple and that's it there so that's just it's so nice on my lips and I have been wearing it with like sometimes a lip gloss over the top and for example I wore it in one of the videos last week and I had actually put on a darker purple lip liner and then I've put this on over sort of mostly in the center and blended it out a bit and then a gloss over the top and I was really impressed with it I really like it and I do wear it to work every now and then with my hair just it's just easier to wear and I can pull it off easier I think maybe I just don't really mind anymore but I really have been enjoying wearing this with the other, other lipsticks I should say and Feed the Senses this is from MAC it's a cream sheen or sorry it's a luster and it's this wonderful taupey shade it's showing up there um, I've been able to wear this by itself again because of my hair colour so it's easier to wear paler shades so I can wear you know the purples and these curls and this taupey shade much easier now with this hair colour so it's quite interesting and it's fun playing with my makeup again and investigating what works for me better now because I've changed my hair colour so I've been really enjoying doing that this month and this one is a lovely one it's from Estee Lauder and it's one of the um, Pure Envy Pure Colour Envy lipsticks and it's in powerful it's lovely pink so I have been wearing more bold lips this month and really enjoying it, it's such good fun. So yeah, I have been mostly focusing on lips and yeah, it's been a nice month for playing around. 
Um, but two other products. I have the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Now this is a cult classic. And it's a wonderful peach shimmery blush. Nice peachy co uh, curl. Just, oh, let's watch that there. And again, it just goes so nicely with these coral lips and stuff. So you can put on a light dusting and sheer it out and it doesn't clash too much. You know, it's not too intense, coral everything. But it's really, really nice. Really enjoying wearing it this summer and should be nice if I get a wee bit of a tan, possibly at some point. The mascara I've been wearing is the Rituals Volume Mascara and it's just a black one. I got this as part of, I think it was a gift with purchase or something to that effect quite a while ago and I eventually broke it out and I'm really really enjoying it. It's really good for volume, really really nice volume and it does add a bit of length but it is mostly volume for me and you can get quite a bit with just one coat, like I'm just wearing one coat today if it focuses, I don't know if you can see that because I have a dark eye on but just one coat, really really nice. And you obviously, if you want two coats, it's really full on and it's really nice for a night out. Or if you just fancy having a full on lash look that day, it's very good. Um, the last favourite, I guess, has actually been the vlog. I've been vlogging lots and I've mentioned it before, but it's just become so much fun. And I've been planning some ideas with friends for our wee projects we're going to do. And it's just been such a fun month to play around with that and learning more about... Uh, recording videos and stuff you need to do when you're you know if you're out and about vlogging and that kind of jazz and I have just become more relaxed about vlogging when I'm out in public I don't do loads of it but I don't mind doing it out and about anymore which is quite nice so yes our vlog channel is always linked down below and you can check that out for yourself but I have because it's been vloon and we've been doing more videos I've been really enjoying it so that's good yeah thoroughly enjoying that but I have one fail this month and it is from the body shop. It's the Vitamin C Daily Moisturiser SPF 30. I have done a review on this. Yeah, I have, yeah. I will link that down below. I just, this didn't really work for me particularly well. It clogged up my, I've got quite large pores and it clogged those up and I got backheads on my cheeks and all that kind of jazz. And it was just a wee bit too much. It does have, you know, as I said, it's good because SPF, I like to lower my SPF and Sadly, I'm not sure if it was because of the SPF, because I do double cleanse every night and all that sort of thing. But it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. So I will not be finishing this up. Maybe I'll use it as a hand cream. If I didn't have stuff, swatches in the back of my hand, I would have moisturised my hands there. But yeah, sadly this was a fail for me. It didn't really work out. Um, it might be better for drier skin types, but not for mine, unfortunately. Which is more combination oily, sensitive, large pores, pain in the bum, sort of. <laughs> But yes, that's it. it. That's my feel for the month. So that's it for this month's favourites and feel, sadly. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know down below. What have been your favourites this month? Um, have you used any of the same products? Or if you can recommend any products along the lines that I've been using. I'm always interested to find out more. Um, obviously, let me know down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like if you liked. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.